do you have any kind of ratio that you focus on, you know, maybe building networks and, and that, that kind of community versus building products and services versus marketing activities? Do you have, yeah, do you have any sort of ratio for that? Or is it all instinctive? Because we've we all got only so many hours in the day and all of yeah. it always need more hours, right? So you must have sure. to control that, that manage that somehow. Yeah, I would say, you know, spend by, by far most of your time building building and marketing funnels, right? But the problem is most small business owners, they use what I call manual marketing. And they will never, and it's, it's incredible how few people actually realize that, ever thought about that, that unless they transcend to automated marketing or semi-automated marketing, they will never become free. They will always be trapped, maybe in a, in a, in a high-paid job if they're lucky, but they'll always be trapped. They'll never be free. So manual marketing is creating content for social media, um, you know, posting on Facebook, interacting with people on Facebook and stuff like that. Uh, now, if you create viral stuff, it's very hard to orchestrate that uh, to, to like, like by design. Um, but that can have some longevity uh, and then give some kind of automated flow of leads in the future. Like, for example, podcast, uh, podcast shows are a great example of that, of being interviewed in podcasts that can actually create some longevity for you. Um, but in general, most businesses, they focus on that manual marketing, interacting with people on social media, creating content. The problem with that is that you can't scale yourself. You can't scale your time. And not only that, and this is this is what comes as a shock to a lot of people, when they do that for a long time, suddenly one day they woke up and they're burned out. Mm. And why they're burned out? Because they're spending too much time on doing something that is not their core passion. Right? When they got into business, they got in because they loved training dogs or they loved coaching people or they loved creating cupcakes. And then suddenly they found themselves spending an enormous amount of time on social media, right? That was not the passion. So if you are doing something that's not your passion for too many hours, it will burn you out, okay? That's why people burn out of a job. Yeah, for right? sure. Because it's boring. It's not, your, it's not your passion. So you have to transcend to paid advertising. That's the only thing you can predictably scale, yeah. okay? And it might take you time to get it right. I mean, it took some time to get, for, for me sure. to get it right. Yeah. But then when we got it right, we just put, you know, we turn up the dial literally from one week to the next. And then we went, boom, we went from 60 people to, a, to at, at the events to 125 within one month. Yeah. Uh, and it was in the middle of a summer where nobody attends events. And it was actually in, in, uh, in a time of the Olympics where I thought, oh, my God, nobody's going to come here. And, you know, all the money I've spent on this advertising is going to be wasted. But in fact, it, it, you know, it put us on the map. Um, and-